The winter is here and we're gonna make today a winter special tutorial for all you fruity loopers out there. I'm gonna show you today how to connect um, a keyboard um, over a MIDI MIDI wire to your fruity loops. First you need a external sound card. Um, I have here one from Alessis, the IO2. It's okay, it's, it's do the work there for that I need. First you need um, a sound card who supports MIDI. And there are um, internal sound cards too, but they normally are expensive than the, than the external. And for about $150 you buy a good external sound card. If you want to connect a normal keyboard about, uh, over MIDI, you go here to the MIDI out and plug in the MIDI wire. And this wire you plug in in your external external sound card in the in the MIDI in port is this here. You see the sound card now is installed and plugged in in the PC over USB and then the only thing you have to do is to configure it in I start up the keyboard and then you open here Fruity Loops go to the go to the options go on MIDI settings then you can see here the MIDI settings now my sound card is here in the input listed as USB generated controller is now is active here you see it's enable now if you when you um, open Fruity Loops 9 the first time after installing your external sound card this will be on enable and now if I push here some knobs you will see that there is no reaction in Fruity Loops then I go here and enable this USB sound card you see then that comes again this generic controller generic controller and is active now I close this and now you will see that when I press a key you see it reacts immediately now if you have a MIDI controller instead of a normal keyboard you have to connect it over USB um, you the the way you have to connect is only you plug in the keyboard in a USB device and install the drivers from this keyboard then you open up Fruity Loops 9 or 8 so it's all the same go here to the options MIDI settings and then you have again here this config the settings windows and here in the window for input there will be the name from your MIDI controller for example Cork MIDI controller or something like that and you click on this MIDI controller and then on enable and that's it and your MIDI controller should now, work when you have configured your controller or keyboard and it works uh, you might have the problem that the sounds came too late that means when you press your key on your controller or keyboard the sound in your Fruity Loops came after a half second or so that's too long 
uh, you have to to control the latency compansion. You go to options, go to MIDI settings, and in this window you go here on audio. So here you can see your audio driver. In my case, it's ASIO for all V2. I'll go, I'll go to the uh, ASIO panel, click here. Then you have here the adjustment window from ASIO where you can uh, regulate all your latency. The problem is now if you ha have a, an internal sound card which isn't strong enough, you will have the problem that if you put the latency low, it will um, it don't will have the power to 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 work clear. You only will have crack and broken sound and things like that. You won't work good with this. Then you have to put the latency um, bigger. But then you have again the problem that the sounds came too late. And for this you need this external sound card or a strong internal sound card, card properly to make music. Then you can test and check out which is the best adjust, adjust, uh, <laughs> adjustment for you. And um, then you will find the right way for you. If you have too much latency in there, you won't be able to make uh, good music and work professional because you will.